Hi guys and welcome once again to Mike's PC Gaming and welcome finally to City Skylines. Alright guys, I've got to say, um, this game was donated by one of my subscribers. He wishes to remain anonymous, uh, so we'll definitely respect that. I will say though, uh, a massive, massive thank you for donating this game to the channel. Not only did he donate the game guys, he also donated quite a lot of the DLCs as you can see down here. Um, I was having a conversation with him and he was pretty adamant that I would love this game if I actually got it and started playing with it uh, and he offered to, to uh, donate the game to the channel which was very kind of him so a massive thank you I'm sure a lot of my subscribers are going to absolutely love you for this because I get asked a lot to play this game a hell of a lot alright today we're going to play a brand new game According to Steam, I've got 52.8 hours I think in this game um, I haven't really, I've had the game running all day all days i've had it about a week and it's been running pretty much seven days a week um it's been running in paused mode and i've been jumping in and uh messing around with it as, as often as i could so i've probably got about 20 hours in the game and that's it so i'm by no means a professional at it so please don't expect that uh, we're going to play a new game today and uh i've had a look at a lot of these maps already um, I'm working my way down the list. Today I'm going to start on Arid Plains, I think. Or should we try Regal Hills? What does that look like? I don't know. Let's try Regal Hills. Let's have a look at that one just to see what that's like. We'll start there. All right, here we are in the game. Right, what have we got to play with? What have we got? Well, we've got the whole of the, um, the motorway here, the road system, in our territory, which is not bad. So we can connect to anywhere, really. That's pretty good. We've got a river and hmm this is looking quite interesting we've got some high ground over here i think i would like to have residential and commercial over here it's a bit lumpy a bit lumpy and bumpy but um or we could put the industrial down here we could put it right down here out the way and we could have all the the rest of it up here i think we'll do that um, I'm gonna start off building first of all we have to do a little bit of road tricks of the trade you do a little bit of road and then you just delete it again and I'll open up a few more road pieces for you um, I'm gonna start building though with the uh, two-lane gravel road because it's really really cheap and the amount of traffic we're gonna have on the roads at the beginning of the game isn't gonna be a lot. There's not gonna be uh, a load of congestion on the roads with all of the traffic backing up and stuff. So it's perfectly okay to use these roads and update them later on when you've got the cash to do it. We could do quite a lot of the road system with uh, this gravel road because it's dirt cheap, man. It's just dirt cheap. All right, so I'm gonna extend these a little way. We're gonna do them about three squares, I think. I've noticed that the key to this game is literally to build up slowly. You've got to do it slowly, otherwise you're just going to get yourself bankrupt and get yourself into a lot of trouble. So nice and slow, steady is the way. Um, we could actually join up to these as well from up there, which would be pretty damn good. I think I'll do that. I think I'll do that. I want to have the houses running down here along the river because I think that's going to increase the property values later. So let's just take a little road off here say so coming off 45 degrees like that and we'll get it coming off to about there to about there just like that then I'm going to let's have a look I'm going to take a road across here I don't want to get too close to everything um, well I could probably put it there that's not going to bother anyone and if we bring that down here, that's going to be okay as well, I think. And we'll bring this right over here. Can I do it? Yeah, we can do it to there. Um, we're building in a grid to start with. It's not going to stay grid, though. I think grids are quite boring. Um, I want to connect that to there. Is it going to? Is it going to? Um, in fact I'm not I'm going to just delete that a little bit we'll have that going to about there I don't want to get too close to the road because that's going to be the main road I want to try and keep that road as not too congested in fact we'll just do it from here we'll just do that like that alright so we're going to 
Uh, that'll work out for us. That'll work out for us. All right, so we've got a little bit of uh, residential. I'm not going to build on this area here because if we do, they're going to start parking there and it's going to make... I want to keep this as a main road. All this system here going around, it's going to be like main road supplying our uh, citizens, our residential. And we'll have some smaller roads going through the middle. So we'll just put these in like that for now. So we've got a bit of... Um, residential sorted we can put some commercial down here along this line and all the way down here i think we're going to do the commercial uh the um, industrial so we're just going to pull these down i think all the way down to the bottom we'll pull these down to about there we'll take this one as well and we'll just get a line coming off like this stuff like coming along here like that and this is gonna be our industrial um, I'm just gonna close that road off here so that they've got access to both lines and I think we might need a little bit more I'm gonna just take another line from here and we'll just uh, we'll bring that over to here like that so that's going to be our industrial, our residential, and a little bit of commercial here. So the next thing we're going to need is water. They need water. Oh, yes, they do. So we've got a river here, and it doesn't look like there's any flow to it. Yes, there is. There is flow. It's going in this direction. If we follow the arrows, it's going in that direction. So we have to make sure that our clean water... We're going to have to get our clean water from down here. I think I'm just going to put this here. And our dirty water is going to be here, going down river. So all of our dirty water is going to go this way and not this way towards our clean water. So we'll just put that there. And we'll just connect them up with a pipe. Right, they are now connected. Very nice, very nice. So we're going to have to um, provide our residential area with some nice clean water. So we're just going to bring... In fact, let me just bring this up here like this. And we're just gonna go along here. Like that. Um, if I come down, I think it's 460 is the width of this thing. So if we go 460 and bring it across, we can just do that like that. And just overlap it just a tiny amount there. And then we'll just bring one across here and that's that bit done so all of this area is now going to be supplied with water we're going to have to take a line coming down as well for our industrial area so we'll just do that like that and we'll just bring some of these across just to make sure that all of this area has got water as well something like that so they are now supplied with water or they will be once we've done the electricity so right the electricity is going to come down here in the industrial i'm not going to be using the uh, wind turbine because i think it's really expensive and you don't get much power output for it i'm at the start of the game it, it might be all right but i've always used this one the coal power plant and i've not really had any problems with it so we're just going to do this one um i'm going to put it right here next to the main road just like that and we're going to get some power lines coming off it so we've got power lines coming from here no we're not we've got power lines coming from here it's going to go all the way up to here i think if we just put it there that's probably going to be enough to get this area started kick started uh, we're going to take a power line from there to here for our water and one going from there to there for that water so we've now potentially got electricity in all of the different areas as well. I think we're ready to go. We've still got 12,000 left, which is pretty good when you consider how much road we've built and everything. That's quite a long distance from there to there. That's what I like about using the gravel roads. Uh, they're just really, really cheap and it's good at the beginning of the game. Right, we're going to start zoning now. We've got some residential. We're going to put residential in here. We'll just plonk a block down there and we'll do... A smaller block here 
for some commercial. We'll just do that like that. I could even go on to here if I want as well with commercial. As long as I don't do this line, uh, we shouldn't get people parking on there. We should be all right. I'm just gonna do that much for now. And down here, we're gonna do some industrial as well. So we'll just paint some industrial in. Um, yeah, not too much to start with. Let's just do that. Right, that's going to be enough to start. Key to this game seems to be building up slowly. Take it really, really slow. If you do too much in one go, you're going to end up getting yourself bankrupt. And I've done it a lot of times, so believe me, you will. You will buggy yourself up. You'll buggy your game up. Right, let's start the game. It's been in pause mode. Now it'll start running. And it seems when these lines go blue, we've got electricity. Here we go, they're going blue now. So everything's got electricity. This has also got electricity, so it should start to grow. Here we go, we've got our first resident coming in now. Let's just get in and have a look, shall we? See them getting built up. So we've still got a surplus of money, which is great. And our outgoing, our overheads aren't too bad either. So we should start making plus pretty quickly let's just put some more uh, residential in there in a second right the residential seems to grow first and then because of their needs they're gonna need to go shopping and stuff and then it will be this area the commercial area that starts growing once this starts growing the commercial area is gonna need stuff uh, supplies from industry and then the industry will start growing as well down here so we're just gonna keep plonking down some residential until we can uh, give that the impulse to start growing which should be any second these people have got to eat man they've got to eat so yeah I've played quite a few games of this uh, I haven't done very well I haven't gotten very far in the game at all really um, it seems to me that you've got to start the game you've got to build up enough residential area and enough of a community say until you start making um, a lot of money. And uh, so you don't have to worry about the money aspect too much. It'll start growing, it'll start bringing in its own money and you'll be all right after a certain point. And then you can start uh, beautifying your city and doing all the good stuff. I haven't been to the good stuff yet. All I've been doing is this first um, initial phase where you've got to start building up all of your, your residential and your industry and stuff. This is taking its time. It should start coming through pretty soon though. Come on, let's go. Let's go, let's go. It has got electricity, so, and it has got water as well. So everything's okay. We're just waiting for it to grow. There shouldn't be any of this, no. It's taking its time. Right, we're gonna speed it up. We've got three speeds, slow, medium, and fast. We're gonna just put it onto fast, and here we go. Commercial's coming in now, very nice. Right, so we'll just fill this area up now with commercial. We haven't got too much room for commercial, so, uh, I'm hoping we'll have this first milestone done before we run out of space to build because we're going to get a cash boost after the first milestone and we can adjust our taxes and stuff. Uh, at the moment we can't really do anything if we click on it. It's uh, we can we can budget, we can uh, we can set the water and stuff. If we if we just pause that second. If we go up here and we have a look on electricity, you can see we're well in the green for the electricity. So we could if we wanted to, we could actually reduce this. If we just put this back on, going slow, and you'll see we've adjusted the uh, how much money is available to the electricity industry. We've put it down to about 70% and it hasn't moved. So we could even drop it down lower. If we put it down to there, just give it a couple of seconds to, uh, to catch up. And it's still up there, it's still up there, it hasn't moved. So if we bring it all the way down to 51%, and he's still there. So we can drop that down to 51%. I don't know how much money we're saving. I don't think we're saving a lot. It's the same on the water as well. If we go onto water and we drop the water down, we can drop that all the way down. And you see that hasn't moved either. So we're, we're all right. We've budgeted them now. We'll just uh, we'll just let that stay as it is for a while. It'll, it'll tell us when it needs uh, more electricity and more water. So we're not doing too bad. So now we should be getting some of this in. Yes, we are. I think we need to add a little bit more. Uh, we'll just block that in there. We'll just put the whole thing in. 
stop, 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 stop. Let me just push that back up a little bit again. And start the game. Let's just see if that disappears. Oh, it's going. I think we just put the... Uh, we budgeted too low, that's all. Okay. Oh, whew, that was close. Holy cow, man. All right, let's put some more residential in here. And I think we'll bring down this road a little bit. Oh, we're gonna do, we're gonna delete these lines for our electricity once we do this, which means we're gonna have to put new electric lines in. We'll just connect these ones up to there like that, and then back up to here. Come on, give them electricity. Come on. Right, I'm just gonna put some residential down here just to get this started. I wanna put some more commercial down here as well. Let's just speed it up. Taking too long, come on. Um. I think because we've got more houses now, I'm just gonna increase them a little bit. Most of the time I don't bother with this because it's uh, it doesn't stay down for very long. You, you're building so quick and uh, you're always adjusting it. So I, I normally just leave it where it is. I only just showed you. So it, it is a way to save some money at the beginning of the game. Right, how are we doing down here? Doing all right, we're doing all right. So we've almost completed our first cycle. We're gonna get our first milestones. Our first milestone is to get 460 population in our little in our little town, our little village. There we go, we've got it, 460, great stuff. So that's gonna unlock some stuff for us. That's gonna unlock taxes and loans. So we can get loans now and we can also adjust the taxes. We're gonna be able to take care of garbage and healthcare and education and all that sort of stuff. And it's also unlocked these buildings for us. There will be more stuff unlocked the more population we get. There's going to be a lot more stuff unlocked. So let's just pause the game just a second. And we can now go back to here. And now we've got taxes and loans unlocked for us. So we're going to go into taxes and we're going to increase our taxes. So the sweet spot seems to be between 11 and 12%. Some people put it on 11, some people put it on 12. But 12 seems to be the sweet spot where we don't get uh, any problems with our residents. I don't know if we can adjust that later on in the game. Once we've got a big city and stuff, I don't know if it's going to have to stay on 12 or if we can adjust it. I've got no idea. But we can influence the production. Say um, we've got too much indus industry being produced. We can whack the tax up and it'll slow them down. It will. Uh, so you can control how quick or how slowly certain things are growing in the game with your tax. You can uh, control it with that. Now we're going to go on to loans. And as you can see, we can take a loan now of now of 21,000 so we're going to take that it's going to give us a little boost to our money I think for the first milestone we also get 20,000 so with that 20,000 plus the 20 we just we just got we've got 45,000 now which is going to allow us to build some more stuff we're going to start building some more roads I'm going to carry on with me uh with my gruffle road and we're just going to bring it down here I'm going to use curves now a little bit because we're going to curve down here just a touch uh, so if we go down here like that, maybe that might be too much. That's too much. If we go down here like that, no. There we go, like that. We'll just bring this down here. Just coming down here a little bit. Um, I'll put that straight for this bit. Just have that coming down here like that. Bring this one down a little bit further, down to here. Can we join them up? Yeah, we'll just join them up like that. Like I say, I don't want it gritty. I don't want it all nice, straight, neat. So uh, it doesn't matter if we've got a few wonky lines here and there. You're not gonna notice them later, I don't think. All right, so we've destroyed our electrical system here. So we're gonna have to, I'm just gonna bulldoze some of these out the way.
and we're going to try and get it to come up this way if we can. Alright, that should be okay just there because it's connected to that. Uh, this one, we'll bulldoze these ones out of the way as well. And we'll just take the electricity from here. You can connect to any any part of this blue. And you'll be able you'll be able to get a supply of electricity. So that should be fine. That should be perfectly okay. So let's just go back to roads and uh, we'll put a road going from here. We'll have it going straight across there like that. And I think I'll have another road. We'll have another road coming from here straight down to here as well. So I'm going to leave these spaces. Maybe we can build in them later on. Uh, so we've got a little bit of room now to do some more resident. There's not a lot. We'll put another one going through there. So we can do all of this with uh, residential, all this with residential. Uh, we can do some of this with residential. Down here as well by the river, I think that will increase the uh, property values if we, if we do it down here. I think they're going to want to live down on the river. That's going to be quite attractive to them, I think. And uh, we're going to have to increase... Eh, increase this a little bit, I think. Can we just squeeze that on there? I think we can. Yes, we can. Lovely. All right, let's just go up a little bit more. We'll just do one square. Just connect them up like that. All right, so now we can do some more. Um, a commercial. I might have to start building along this side. I don't want it, like I say, as long as you don't touch that road, I think we should be all right. We're probably gonna demolish most of this anyway once we get a lot of money. And once we've got our city to a certain size, we can start demolishing certain areas and rebuilding them again the way that we wanna have them. But like I say, at the moment, we're just going for getting everything up and running so that we can get, uh, get the money coming in, basically. So let's start making, let's just start the game again. And we'll put a little bit more residential in. We'll put some in. Uh, we'll put some in over here, like that. And we'll put we'll put some out here as well on the outside, along here. Just get all of that up and running. Uh, I think we'll do some down here as well. All right, commercial. We're doing okay. This one, we're gonna give it a little bit more. We're gonna give it another couple of blocks over here. Just so that it can expand out. And we are now in the plus. We are making 632 bucks every whatever day, maybe. And we've got 38,000 on the account, which is all right. We are now in the plus, which is bloody brilliant. Absolutely excellent. We've got a start. We're making a start. Great stuff. Right, I wanna get a connection to this road over here so that the vehicles can get back onto the main route if they need to. And I'm just going to do it straight across as well. This is going to be a two lane one way road. We're going to upgrade it pretty soon. I think once we've done the next milestone, we'll start upgrading the roads. We're going to have plenty of money then. We're also we're almost making a thousand bucks a day now. Traffic's moving quite slowly. These are trucks going down to deliver. Let's just speed it up. They're going down to deliver to the industrial area. Let's just see where they go. Coming all the way down. It's a long way, man. It's a long way. Some of them, one of them must be going to the... Uh... No, I thought one of them was going to supply coal to our power station, but nope, they didn't. They don't care. Just turn that off so we can see our city properly. Very hilly area. This is gonna look great, man. This is this looks brilliant. Look at the river. So it is getting quite busy. It is getting quite busy, so we're gonna have to upgrade our roads pretty soon. Right, how are we doing down here? We'll give it a little bit more residential. We'll just fill in this block here. And some more commercial, it looks like. So we'll put a bit of commercial down there. Um, why have you not got any water? Let's just go back onto our budget. Did we not put the budget back up? Water, here we go. So we can put these back up to normal now, to 100%. Just 
just like that. So they should be okay for water again. But they aren't. Why not? Alright, let's just pause and find out why they're not okay. Ah, because we haven't given them any water. Alright, let's just get a pipe going down here. Alright, now they're good. Now they're good. We can start the game again. Commercials coming in thick and fast. So I'm going to have to do a little bit more commercial. We're going to do it over here. We're not going to go right to the last block though. We'll just do it like that to about there. We should be fine. Down here as well, we'll do exactly the same to about there. And that should see us through to the next milestone. We should be all right. Oh, we need some more of that. So we need garbage collection. Like I said, we're going to start adding um, more industries, certain types of industry like rubbish collection, rubbish and recycling. We'll add that as soon as we've done this milestone, we'll start sorting out the rubbish. These are going to have problems as well with rubbish. Here we go. It's all starting now. If we just click on one, we can see it says garbage is piling up. So we're making 2000 bucks now a day, which is great. I think, oh, it's weekly income. So 2000 a week and we've got 55,000 on our account, which is, we're doing all right. We're doing actually pretty good. Um, stop, they haven't got any water either. Have we got another hole in our system? Yes, we have. All right, let's just bring that down there. We'll do this one as well. Okay, start that off again. Okay, this is our demand down here. The problem that I was having in the beginning when I started playing the game, I was chasing these. You shouldn't chase them. Um, what happens is this green bar will start to grow when it needs residential. And you'll think, oh, we need residential. And you put a load of residential in. But if you look, if you've got three green spaces like this, then you don't necessarily have to make residential. All this is saying is we need residential and then it'll start building. So this could go up. But if you've got free space, it'll start building and it'll start going down again on its own. As long as you've got free space, you don't have to worry too much about uh, adding more. Um, don't start chasing these things because um, you'll get yourself into trouble if you do. I, I, I normally just build a bit and then wait and you'll see that these start to catch up. They'll start catching up on their own. As you can see, we've got blue here. Let's just start the game. It's saying we need blue. But if you watch the blue, you'll start to see it go down because we have got empty spaces here. And as it starts to use them up, the blue will start going down on its own. So we've just got our, a second milestone, a worthy village, yoo-hoo! So we've got all of this stuff unlocked to us now as well. We've got emergency services, police, and some unique buildings. We've got some um, industry, industry specializations, and we've got loads of stuff. Look at it, just loads of stuff. And it gets more and more, the more we progress. So the next one we've got is uh, 1,500 people. That's gonna be tiny town. So we'll just let that continue. We will just pause it for a second and we'll have a look in our industry and we'll see here we've got a landfill site and we've got a recycling center down here. So we're just gonna go down to an industrial and we are gonna put down a landfill site and I think I'll put this, I'm going to put this down here, this whole stinky thing, can I? Mm, it's not going to let me. It's too slopey, oh my god, it's too slopey. Right, we'll put it here. It's too, I can put it there. We'll put it, we'll put it here. And I'm also going to take a recycling plant and I'm going to put it right next to it. Next to it. If we just have a look at our rubbish collection here. Um, you can see we're in the red. Let's just start the game and see what it looks like now. Just speed it up a little bit. Right, we're going to need one more recycling plant. We'll just put it there like that. And that should hopefully push it up into the green. So for rubbish collection, we're okay now. If we just close that down, you should start seeing this stuff disappear. As the rubbish trucks come out, here they are. 
they're coming out they're collecting all the rubbish bloody brilliant and there should be a load of them going up there look at them all there's a whole convoy of them running up there now that's all going to the residential and it'll start collecting all the rubbish up here as well and then everybody's going to be happy again oh yes that's what we want happy residents excellent all right we're going to start adding some roads i'm just going to pause this a second let's just go on to our loans if we have a look here we've got um so what we can actually do is we can pay loans off and then take them again so we've got fourteen thousand left to pay on this one if we were to pay that fourteen thousand off we could take a loan again for twenty one thousand so that's what we're going to do we're going to pay this one off and then we're going to take the loan again at twenty one thousand and uh, we can also take a second loan here as well for sixty six thousand so we'll take that one as well and that has now boosted our money to 108,000. So we're just going to go on to roads. And we are going to go on to... We're going to go back a little bit. And I'm going to go for these ones. These are a two-lane, one-way road. So we're just going to click on this one. And then I'm going to click down here on upgrade road. And we're just going to lay the road down here like this. We'll have it coming around this way, along here. We'll have it coming down here. And along here. So I want these outside roads to be like the main roads to the city. All right, so it's one way, a two lane one way road coming down here, coming down there, coming all the way down here. It's all one way. And then these ones are pointing the wrong direction, so I'm just going to right click on them to change the direction. And then it's going to come up here and it's going to go up there. So it's all one way. Once they get to these points, they can cut through, they can get to all of the residents using these uh, little tiny B roads. Uh, so, yeah, this is going to open the road up for them. They're going to have a lot more traffic being able to flow down here now. And uh, if they need to get into the city, they can use these smaller roads. It's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. So we're going to upgrade these roads as well, these major roads. Coming all the way down here, all the way down to our uh, industrial area. Spending a lot of money doing this now. But it needs to be done. It needs to be done. So we're going to use this road again. We're going to go around the outside like this. Going around here. And we'll just leave the roads in the middle. Um, yeah, we'll do this one as well. We'll do this like this, like this. And coming back down. Um, so this has to be turned around. We're going the other way around. Okay, so that's coming down here. It's going to go all the way around the city like this. Oh, these are going to be changed as well. Come on, man. Come on. All the way around here. This is a normal B road, so we can get back across here. It can go through here, and you can get back onto that road and go up the top. You can cut through here as well, so that's good. So we're going to have to do this road as well, going in the other direction. We're going to have to change. These are all the wrong way around. We're going to have to change all of these. Okay, so it's coming down here. It's going to go all the way around there, do its thing. And then it can come back and it can come back up here. So these are all pointing in the right direction now. Fantastic, fantastic. So we've just increased our roads. Uh, so the traffic is going to be able to get through there a lot easier now. Let's just start the game again. Just waiting for this rubbish to get collected still. And we're going to have to give it some more residential. So we'll just plonk these in here. Just let that city grow. Look at all the traffic coming now. It's all the rubbish trucks. Look at them. So they're collecting all of this rubbish now. Bloody hell, the light ants. Let's just slow it down so we can watch it a little bit. So here they come. 
Let's just follow this truck here, see where he's going to go. See if we can watch him actually emptying the rubbish. I don't know if we can see that. Where are you going to, buddy? Oh, do they change colour when they're full? I think these ones are empty. He's different colour. He looks... F no, he's not carrying anything. 2%. He is carrying something. That one... He's got, well, different colour trucks. I don't know why he got different coloured trucks. Great stuff. So now all the rubbish has been emptied. Everybody's happy again. Apart from that guy, what's he got? Uh, oh, we got some sick citizens. Oh, no, we got some sick citizens. That's going to spread like, oh, my God, that's going to spread like crazy. All right, let's just pause the game. Right, what we can also do is, now because we've got some sick residents, we can uh, add some health care. We've got a, a medical clinic here, which we can put down. Um, it's got to go onto a roadside. It's, as you can see, where the roads light up, that's the area of influence it's got. It's got quite a large area of influence, so all of this area is going to be taken care of by this one hospital, uh, this one clinic. So we're just going to put this down here on the main road. Or should we put it on that main No. Nope. It's got to go on here. It's got to go on here. We'll put it up here in the corner. Just there, like that. And that makes our citizens happy. Oh, yes! All right, let's get that going again. All right, guys. I think we're going to stop that video there. It's a good start. We've got our residential, our industrial, and we've got a little bit of commercial running. Um, we are definitely making a plus, And we've got plenty of money on our account. So we're doing all right for now. But I've, uh, I've been doing all right in the f in past games as well. And then all of a sudden it just changes and everything turns to crap. But we're doing all right for now. So let's stay positive and hope that it continues to go that way. So next episode, we'll carry on expanding our uh, residential area. We'll bring it down here a little way, down to about here, I suppose. And we can extend this out that way and this way. We can also buy other squares. If we click on here, we can buy all of these squares. And they're quite cheap as well that costs 3300 2900 for that one so yeah we can uh, we can extend we c i think we might buy this one as the next one i'm not sure about that i'm not sure yet it's quite hilly this area we'll, mm, we'll see we will see all right guys that's it for this episode i hope you enjoyed it if you did please show your support and hit the thumbs up for me if you're new to my channel consider subscribing i would absolutely love to have you along um like i say i am quite new to this game so if you see that I'm doing anything wrong or anything that is going to cause me problems. Oh my God, I've got a fire now. Oh, for God's sake, let me just put this. Uh, if you can see anything that's going to cause me major problems, uh, please let me know down in the comments below. Likewise, any hints or tips, tips that you've got, let me know. And uh, I'll use them building up our, uh, our little empire here. All right, guys, that's it. Thanks for watching. Till next time, take care. Bye now.